Happy holidays and happy new year from all of us at X's and Argos. My name is Ben Grant. This season, the Toronto Argonauts ran almost 3,000 plays between the first snap of preseason and the very last snap of the Grey Cup Championship. Over the last two months, we've rewatched every single one of those plays and come up with what we believe are the top 50. Now, we're constantly refining our proprietary evaluation and weighting formula when it comes to assessing Argo's highlights. So we always welcome your feedback. Which plays should be higher? Which plays are too high? What do we miss? Please let us know in the comments. We truly appreciate it. And finally, it's been a great year for us here at X's and Argo's, and that's entirely thanks to you. And so from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of you, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. And now, without further ado, it's the X's and Argos Top 50. Winnipeg ball. Pressure's coming! Oh, Daddy. Robbie Smith has it. 140 on the clock. Third down and long coming up from the University of Alberta. So the blitz is coming. Taking another deep shot. Wide open! Phillips. Touchdown, Argos. Yeah, absolutely. He's been a very good player for them. As Caleb Evans checks into the game and right into the backfield again is Oak Tree. There he goes, Sean Oakman, all 6'9 into the backfield, tracking down Evans, who looks like he might be wanting to throw that one on second and short. Second down and eight. Davis still 10 of 10, and now it's popped out and intercepted. His first incompletion goes to the double blue. Back the other way, it's Shaq Richardson creating the turnover for the Argonauts. They're 46th of the season. No more of a mid-size of 20, but yeah, that's five. The 53, little pump. Big Shane Ray gets to Evans. Takes him down. Ray with his second sack, his first since the Argo season opened. The way they play the game, why the Blue Bombers are defending back-to-back champs. Deep look, Polaros, it's intercepted. And there was a flag coming out, and it looked like Winnipeg may have been offside, so they may not get a crack at a field goal here, because it looks offside. like it's against them. Winnipeg number 23, that penalty is the fine result of the play, first down Toronto. First and 10 from the 12, McBeth looks to Curly Gittins, Jr. reaches for the end zone, touchdown Argos as they extend their lead on the third major of the year for number 19 in double blue. Going with Trevor, they've made their way up the standings, and VA looking to help the BC Lions. Oh, the ball is out, pops into the air, the Argos are on it. The handoff went to James Butler. And he got rocked as the ball flew up into the air. He's not over yet. He's five tackles, by the way, in the Love night that. to go along with that Love pick. That. First and ten. Oh, right, look into the end zone to make them pay. Wow. And they do again. Touchdown, Toronto. Mark Heath Ambles. Look at four this turnovers rock. committed by the Red Blacks, leading to four touchdowns for Toronto in response. With a chicken wing like that. Pressure coming, Cornelius gets it away, down the field, intercepted! Deshaun Amos hauls it in, Cornelius was hit as he threw. Second and goal, Gittins on the reverse now. Brandon Banks looks like he wanted to throw it instead, he takes it in for the Argo touchdown. Brandon Banks back at Tim Hortons Field. And he gets to the end zone against his old team. You risk losing yards with a couple of handoffs here behind the line of scrimmage. But how about McLeod Bethel Thompson? Trying to hunt him down. He'll begin with an empty backfield. Four by two, the receivers go. Bo moving off the spot, uh, throwing it up. Reggie oh. Bagleton, it's intercepted. Turn in the other direction immediately. The Argonauts able to create the rare turnover from this Stampeders club who has just not been able to make many of them. Shorter, so 50 yards away, and will Dedman get his chance? Yes, he, he will. Coming out of the end zone, Devontae Dedman. 
Finds an edge. Tries to cut it up. Ball loses the ball and it's in the Argos' hands. And that's not the dream scenario oh, for the Red goodness. Blacks at all. Somebody's got a voodoo doll. It's a second and ten now. Jalen Morton, quarterback for Hamilton. Oh, it bounces off a deflection pick into the hands of Jamal Peters, who has another big return going. What a couple of games for Jamal Peters. Three picks last week, two more. No touchdowns on the year for Chad Kelly. He's getting closer and closer. He'll take a shot deep over the top. Touchdown, Argos. It's Deshaun Brissett, the second overall pick in 2020 with his first touchdown. The Red Blacks and Nick Arbuckle get a chance to go to work again here in the second quarter. Taking the toss. Oh, and thrown to the right. It's picked up. Right back. Maurice Carnell has it. And just like that, the Argos gave it away. And now they have it again at the Ottawa 30. To start the second half in the Winnipeg 32. Pressure's coming. Chris Edwards is there as well. And down goes Kolaris inside the Winnipeg 20. In the Dola Gala debut, handing on. Morrow has a hole and gets it up around the 45. It's picked up by Chris Edwards on the fumble. And Edwards gets it out of bounds there in Saskatchewan territory. The Riders have benefited from all the turnovers in this game until this. Morrow. First down, isolated, slam to the outside, Abdul Kana trying to hit the home run, it's Kosey down the sideline, stiff arms along to a guy, into the end zone, no, they'll say out at the two yard line. Kosey has had an impressive start to his Canadian Football League career, he's lined up out wide here, you're going to see him work into the middle to make the catch, bounce back to the sideline on the run. Six foot three, 200 pounds. A physical presence in that receiving core, and he demonstrated that after the catch. Go, go. He was being recruited. Wide open again. Speedy B. Brandon Banks breaks it in, and a touchdown. Toronto Argonauts. There's the debut 16 was looking for. Coming down the QEW from Hamilton. We can see from the reactions his new double blue teammates very happy. Him through the years. <laughs> oh, Levi Mitchell. Uh, a two and a half left. Hangs it up. Tavares McFadden got a foot down in the former NCAA defensive back of the year. To a game in which he started. For now, it's the Argos looking to the end zone over the top. Shot. Caught. Tavares Daniels. His third touchdown of the season. Uh, quick recognition and a well-placed ball from McLeod Bethel Thompson here. First and ten, Zach Kolaris, Bombers trailing them. Turn game and decent guy if you need to go to him. Oh, a massive pop! That's Butler. He gets absolutely 
hammered on the play. My goodness. And he tried to get up and went back down. That was McManus who caught him. Oh. Shoulder right to the chest. What really hurt, obviously, for Addison Matthew. Heartbreaking uh, for the Cats, too. He was having a good game. It's intercepted. Argos with the ball. Robbie Smith. And Robbie takes it inside. The five deflected, and he picks off Matthew Schiltz. And the defense stands up for Toronto. Robbie Smith. The contact on the slide from the quarterback. Now Bethel Thompson down the field, drops it in, touchdown! Argos answer back, Tavares Daniels holds it in, and just like that, Toronto strikes. Gamble here, third and four at the 15, Harris with time, and stopped it! And a big return brewing here, it's Jonathan Jones, and he gets it all the way up near midfield across the Argonaut 50, so... They gamble, and it's picked, and it's a 38-yard return. One team in two straight games. Little play fake and a deep look. Bethel Thompson to the end zone. Touchdown. Brandon Banks does it again. Got to manage those emotions like in a big game. Second and long. Harris slips, but he steps up, and he shuffles it. It looked like he did it over the line of scrimmage. The ball is out. The Argos have it. Deshaun Amos. Bizarre play that turned out to be. It looked like Harris had tried to throw the football after he had crossed the line of scrimmage. Strong possibility that the call is illegal Harris forward over the line. pass. Montreal number seven. That penalty is declined. The ruling in the field was a catch and a fumble recovered by Toronto. It will be first down Toronto. We're down to 24 now. this season he had won against Ottawa last year Chris Edwards has the second pick six of the night for the Argos and this onslaught continues they get five pick sixes for his career Rod boy one of the Argonauts defenders was coming up with this one because they undercut a route again and read the quarterback's mail. Three years in a row, the benefactors of the work that Kelly Hamilton has done in this province. A big completion here for Giddens, and he'll take it all the way for the Argonaut touchdown. Curly Giddens and a quick strike of 70 yards from McLeod Bethel Thompson. And quickly, the Argos have the lead again. And that backfield with Andrew Harris taking the handoff. Bethel Thompson chased by Mason Bennett. He gets rid of it! Touchdown, Argos! Cam Phillips had the big play to get them close. Has the catch. Waiting to be hit. Four-man rush. Bethel Thompson deep for Banks. Demario Houston was there. how the Argonauts needed to start this second half. Brandon Banks is in behind him. Houston. There's a touchdown on the play. Wow. That's incredible. From the referee, Andre Peru. The ruling on the field stands. It is a Well, there you go. The Argos strike quickly. That is just the second touchdown of the season for Toronto. Both have been scored by Brandon Banks. This game away. Here we go. Three man rush. Lots of time Evans. Looking down. Field intercepted. That'll do it. Chris Edwards taking it all the way for a Toronto touchdown. Edwards deep just inside that goal post. Coming downhill, reading that route. Good anticipation as he saw Dane Evans roll into his right and sort of. After that 54 yarder, now 89 on the night. Daniels. With time. Bethel Thompson looks into the end zone. Touchdown that time. Curly Gittens Jr. Back home in Ottawa. 
and gets six more and his second touchdown in as many weeks. D it out, three by three they go. Evans wants it quick. This time he rips it, it's intercepted. Going back the other direction, the third interception of the night for number three. House call. Jamal Peters, touchdown. They call it. I think he's, he got, he's got his own. He's got, he's his, got his own, own sign. Oh my goodness. goodness! Picked off again. Carnell with his second of the night, and he's going to take it all the way in. So that time, they score a touchdown on a turnover on the same play. A pick six to add insult to injury. Maurice Carnell. As fans start heading to the exit, the Argos defense really pouring it on in this game. Tavares Daniels not in the lineup. Ambles is filled in accordingly. Over the top shot play towards the end zone. It's Tommy Neal out of nowhere. Just his sixth catch of the season. And the Argonauts take the lead back late in the fourth. Defense make a play. Well, Thompson has it off. A.J. Ouellette and Toronto goes on top. Huh. A.J. stealing some of KB's thunder right there. Kevin Brown's thunder. To use a little bit of an Antonio Pipkin package. Mm -hmm. In the playoffs, he had demonstrated much as Kelly has an ability to run with the football. Big return here from the Argos to start the second half. Cote slaps the legs of Jeremiah Hadel. Can't bring him down. Dancing the sideline. But this Argonauts kick return team has found some success. Some of its biggest returns of the year against the Montreal Alouettes. 87 yards there. Lots of time. yards McLeod Bethel Thompson he went to Gittins before it was Sutton knocking that one away he goes right back to him catches that and then takes it in for the second Argo touchdown of the afternoon institutions at quarterback the Bombers do this again making it to Dembski and a deep ball thrown by Krukov into coverage and it's intercepted picked off by Shaq Richardson and you talked about the need for the Argos to force turnovers for the three gained by Ambles, it's a second and seven at the Alouette 31. Three-man rush. Bethel Thompson with time. Into the end zone! Touchdown, Argos! Curly Gittins, Jr. And the boatmen open it up again. Michael Domagala. to in the world of football over his career. Kind of gets it. Can't panic. Just deep to the right trying to create. Now we'll throw it to the back of the end zone up high. Well, they say the receiver was in. Touchdown Argos. Freskison was in as they share the Halloween yes, treats from trick, underneath the upright. Trick or treat. That was a heck of a trick by Juwan <laughs> Freskison to come down with this one. Looking to kill some clock. Fajardo. Intercepted Argos! With McManus! And the game turns on a dot! Touchdown Toronto! Talk about bail him out! Yeah, they bailed him out! Still time on the clock. Lots of time in Canadian football, but the Argos take the lead. Academic, if he makes it, Winnipeg will take the lead. No! Partially blocked as well. It rolls down. A block, and then a block. And a new yard flag coming out as well. What an extraordinary finish. 
here at Mosaic Stadium. The dynasty is denied. And one of the oldest trophies in Canada's history will go to one of its oldest franchises. The Toronto Argonauts have won the 2020